Deep in the lands of North Central Florida, there is a man that drives dusty roads. This man is on a quest, a noble quest, to find a species of snake that makes the heart melt like a newborn kitten. Many objects lie in his way, but through persistence and strong muscle and gas money, this man pushes on, and that man is me. So we're looking for Simus, and the key to look for Simus is we're, we're on the road, we're gonna see these little stick things, and then behind it, we're gonna see the trail of dirt because they move kind of straight. And as they're crossing the road, they're always smiling. So it kind of looks like this. And that's how they look. That's what you're looking for. Let me be honest. This year's Hogtober has been really slow. So everything you're about to see is comprised over the whole month of October. So yeah, we're going to jump around a bit. Baby Diamondback. Look at that, got a little nub on it. All right, it's about time we find something. Fall is a good time to see Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes, especially the babies. I wish we could spend more time with it, but there's a bunch of houses over here and I don't want no one to see it and then uh, try to kill it. So I'm gonna take some quick cell phone pictures of it. We're gonna get it across the road. Don't want no one to mess with you. There he goes. Yeah, we, I wanted to spend more time with it, but I don't want someone over here to see it and then we hide it and they come back and kill it. So, gotta get it across the road. Oh my goodness. What do we got here? All right, got a big female Eastern glass lizard. I thought it was gonna be slender up here, but it's not. Pretty neat. That's cool. Let me get a picture of it. It's nice and chilling out. I know it's a female because males at this size are quite gorgeous, having an iridescent bluish green color. My goodness. That's a big rough green snake. Look at you. Let's give you a quick example of how big that guy is. Oh, and he's going. It's okay, he needs to get off the road anyway. Oh, what's up, Cal? I'll leave, don't worry. I don't like how they walk up on the roads like this because anyone can run them over that aren't paying attention or they're being malicious. And there are people out there that just run them over and run them over. Those are, those are douchebags. Another one on the road. The thing is they have trails, they have paths that they travel a lot. And this turtle here is coming from its burrow and it's traveling the same path over and over again. So if I take him off the road, he's probably just coming from one path to another. And luckily it is skirting the side of the road. I hope no one runs it over. All right, it's about time. That is a beautiful little diamond back. Look at the way it looks. That is a beautiful snake. You walk around here, it has like double. Look at that. That's gorgeous. What a beautiful snake. It boggles my mind why anyone would want to kill such a puppy dog of a snake. In fact, in the US, dogs hold more of a threat than snakes do. right there across the road. 
Look at that. You can hear this little rattle going. All right, buddy. Get far off the road. God, you're a beautiful snake. All right, go on. Keep on backing up. You can get off that road. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm pretty fortunate where I live. There's two ridges in my general area. One I live on, and there's another one on the other side. Ooh, there's a deer. Look at that buck. It can't get over that fence. Jesus Christ. Note to self, I do not like fences like that. That's ridiculous. Why does it need to be that high? There we go. Hoggy hog. This is an eastern hognose snake. In Florida and the rest of the southeast, we have two species, the eastern and the southern hognose snake. You will see the southern later in the video. Look at it spreading out its neck, similar to a cobra. This species even has a nickname, the spread adder, which is laughable because this toad eater is harmless to us. See you later, buddy. Go get yourself a toad or two. That right there is from Hurricane Idalia. This is, gives you a uh, kind of a, a look how high the storm surge went. I had to stop just to take a look at it. Let me let me go up to it. That's, that's how high the water was. That's pretty amazing. Hurricane Idalia hit North Florida hard. There's trees that are topped off from the nature coast to South Georgia. October is not all about the sand hills. If the temps are good, we head to the flatwoods to do night cruising. Big pygmy rattlesnake. So that's a good size pygmy. Let me get off the road. Get him off the road. There's always cars coming. That's a water snake. Missed it, huh? Not even close. Wait, there it is. Yeah, I see it. It's a pretty good size one. So we got a nice, oh crap. The thing is, is these things are so slippery. There's like no holding on to it. To the average person, this looks like an eel, but it's not. It's actually a salamander. In Florida, there's a few species that look similar to this. This one is a two-toed infuma. They get a little bigger than this at around three feet. But they are slimy. There's no possible way I can hold this with my hand because you can see they're, mm. they're slimy. This thing's slimy. So let me, let me let it back go. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. And there it goes. Get all the slime off of me. <laughs> Alright. That was fun. 
That's why I always have a net. You need a bigger one, Mike. How's it, Coach Webb? Did I want to catch it? Kind of, but as soon as it started moving, I'm like, ah, I don't want to run. Why don't you come a little closer? You didn't see it because I had to jump out really fast to grab this baby coach whip snake. A tractor came by. As soon as the tractor came by, this guy was periscoping and kind of looking at the tractor and I jumped out and then he came, you know, he tried to get away. But uh, I'm pretty quick. Put him right here on the, uh, the road and see what direction he goes in. One, two, and three. Where are you going, buddy? Looks like he's looking at you. Go on the treasure. There he goes. You got the compressor? Right yeah. This is what happens when you go herping all day. This is for a chainsaw. This is for tightening up a chainsaw. Seriously? That's all the way in my tire. Always be prepared. I have everything to fix it. We'll see if we can do it. How heavy this piece is gonna be. Are you serious? Look at that. That's some bull crap. Actually, that's pretty thick. You know what I can tell. Really quickly. Okay. So that's in. That's pretty thick. Probably gonna have to stick more than one in there. So that's just one. Get it down pretty deep. How to stick a tire when snake hunting by Michael Dye. You're welcome. We're prob I'm gonna stick more than one in here. You know what, I don't hear any air on it, but I'm not comfortable with that yet, so I'm gonna stick another one in. This one kind of move it out of the way. Ugh, come on, get in there. Maybe it only needed one, but two is better than one, right? Yeah, unless the tire explodes. Yeah, it won't explode. I didn't lose that much air. Lost about 15 pounds doing that. I mean, the tire, not me. Day 28 of cruising these sandy hills. So far, the upturned nose snake has eluded me in all of its glory. I have high hopes for today, as I did the other 27 days, but today I have higher hopes because this week I've seen other people find them. So, hopes are high but like other days they have been crushed before under the weight of these very sandy hills Piper. And that, I was exercising every day. I was walking through habitat with equipment, holding the whole a, family. A big wand, antenna. Looking and, for snakes. Uh, Look at that. Cotton candy. It's not cotton candy. A lot to learn. See if you can go back just a little bit. Okay. Ready? Okay, ready? Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, I'm going forward. Alright, go forward.
There we go. Keep on going. Low walk. <laughs> Y'all didn't even help push. Okay, so we we were testing the vehicle out, and my dad decided to stop right there. He's like, let me just stop in the sandiest place. Right. He's thinking he has a Jeep. Yeah. What did you just say? Wait, wait, how do you feel about this, Dad? I'm gonna kick your butt. That's what I feel about. <laughs> Look at this trail. We got the trail right here. And look at that. That is a big, beautiful Simus. Look at that. That is a big, beautiful Dalt Simus. I'm sorry, I just can't get over this trail. It goes from here, and you see it out to here. Here's the thing this time in Florida, you never see a Dalt Simus, but here we got a big adult. All right, just giving you size reference. And there you go, our main target for the month. We typically only see babies in the month of October, but I'm happy to see this big one. I will note we had to leave the state of Florida to find a Simus. Hopefully we'll see a Simus in Florida next year. Nah, this is puffed up of air. Alright, I'm gonna bring him up here. Bring him up here. And of course it plays dead as soon as I pick it up. I'm gonna put it way off the road. Right here. Nope. nope, it's, this is what they do. And that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought about the video. I'll see you next time.